Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how loops work in our program. So in the previous video we created a function for our code. Uh, this is video four in a five-part series that we're building here and if you haven't seen the previous ones I'd recommend taking a look at those but if you don't have time uh, let's just take a look at a little bit of what the, what the program's doing and then we'll show you how a loop becomes really useful here. So first we have a function call. So we're calling our compare guess function here. Uh, we're putting in a value, a value of five. And the game, we're just playing a little game with the, the user is able to play a game where they guess a number between one and 10. If the number is outside that range, uh, it creates an error. Or if they put in a value that's not a number, it also create an error and we catch that error. Otherwise, we tell the user if the answer is correct, too high, or too low. Now, we're going to run our program on a loop so that the user can keep guessing until they get the right answer. So it'll simulate something that's a little bit closer to a game where the user guesses between 1 and 10 until they get the correct answer. So for that, all we need to do is create this while statement. It's going to be a little while loop here. Uh, and then for our condition, uh, we're just going to run while true and we're going to use a break statement to get out of it. There's a couple of different ways to do this, but this is the easiest way that I could think of. Uh, and then all we need to do here is check if the user guesses the right answer. And if we do, we break out of this loop. So how this code's going to work is this while statement means keep rerunning this code. And because we put true here, that means it's just an infinite loop. Typically, you don't want to do infinite loops, but if you have a break statement, it's perfectly fine. And so what this does is it checks if any of our information, if the compare guess value returns a false value. And uh, in, these, in these instances here, we're going to return true to break out of the loop if the user guesses correctly. So this if statement here is checking if our, is checking if our program, if our user enters the right answer, which right now is five. And if the user enters the correct answer, we'll hit this break statement and the game will end. And they'll hear that it's uh, the correct answer. The, the, the screen will print correct guess. But otherwise, this should return false. And the user will, the user will get sent through this programming loop once again. So let's take a look at how this runs. Also, we want to return false, assuming that the user doesn't enter this else block. So if this user doesn't enter the else block here, meaning if they enter any of these three, or more specifically these two, because the value error is going to get sent down to this one. If, if they enter either of these two blocks, the code will continue and then they'll return false. So our function is returning false for our if statement here. So this allows us to keep repeating the game over and over again until the user guesses the correct answer. So let's run our code here. One is too, high, uh, too low. A is incorrect input. Same with letter B. 11 is not between the correct inputs. Let's try too high. 7 is too high. And then let's try our magic number 5 here. 5 is a correct guess. And then our program finished. So that's a quick and easy way to implement a while loop that I'll just keep running until we tell it to break out of that loop. Very powerful combination, the while loop and then checking for a Boolean value to break out of it. So that's a quick little example of a while loop. And hopefully that's uh, helpful for your future endeavors. And thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.